So what is Microsoft Copilot? Well, it's not as simple as it may seem. All right, I'm gonna walk you through it, but thanks for watching. If you're new here, what's going on? My name is Jordan Wilson, and I'm the host of Everyday AI. We're a daily live stream podcast, free daily newsletter, helping everyday people use generative AI to grow their business and their careers. So let's go ahead and take a look. But if you are watching, thanks. Let me know in the comments if this is helpful, but also please go to youreverydayai.com and sign up for the free daily newsletter. All right, so let's see kind of the difference here. All right, and this is very high level and also keep in mind these things change pretty quickly. Um, but there's technically three different uh, versions of Copilot, all right? So before we get into this chart here that compares them all, let me go ahead and kind of show you. So this is the free version of Copilot that's available on the web. All right, and then you have Copilot Pro. And then last but not least, you have your kind of enterprise version, which is Microsoft Copilot for Microsoft 365. All right, so a lot of uh, a lot of like jargon, right? But let's just go ahead and uh, try to do a high level overview of what the difference between all of these three is. All right, so first and foremost, Copilot, just by itself. So that is what used to be called Microsoft Bing Chat, or Bing AI chat, whatever you want to say, but uh, Microsoft rebranded it as Copilot. So this is free, all right? And essentially, you use this version on the web. Now, there are there is a free version of Copilot that if you have Windows 11 that you technically get access to, that's not what we're talking about here. We're just talking about the web version of Copilot. So yes, technically, there are some kind of free versions of Copilot on Windows 11 kind of bundled in, but we're just talking about the web version here. All right, so now our middle version here. So our middle version, like we said, is Copilot Pro. All right. And I'll make sure to include the links um, in the um, in this description, but Copilot Pro is a paid uh, subscription. So it is $20 a month and it does work on the web as well. So you will still, when you log on to that same interface, uh, you'll still have it. There'll just be some uh, new added features. Uh, better limits with GPT-4 Turbo. Uh, you get some extra uh, boosts, what they're called, with uh, with Dolly. Uh, but kind of the big thing here that I think a lot of people are sleeping on. Let's look in the middle. When it says Microsoft Windows, yes, it does obviously work with Microsoft Windows. However, it also works with Mac. Yes. So if you are on a Mac machine like I am, you do have to download um, these Microsoft uh, or actually have a Microsoft subscription to Microsoft um, 365 uh, personal or family. So yes, only Copilot Pro, as far as I know, only Copilot Pro works on Mac, uh, but it doesn't work across all programs. So uh, more on that here in a second, but it doesn't work with Teams. All right, and then we have last but not least, we have Microsoft Copilot for Microsoft 365. So this is the more kind of enterprise version of Copilot. Uh, previously, it had, I believe, a 200 seat minimum, which Microsoft recently dropped. So now there is no minimum uh, to uh, minimum seats to using uh, Microsoft Copilot for Microsoft 365. There's a lot of differences. I can't cover them all in a short AI in five minute video, but in short, you also need Microsoft 365 business standard or premium. All right, so if you are running uh, Microsoft 365 personal or family, and you want Microsoft 365 Copilot, it will not work that way. Uh, you have to be on the business standard or the business premium plan if you want to use Microsoft 365 Copilot. Uh, the other, you know, uh, obvious change here is the pricing. So uh, Copilot Pro is $20 a month, technically per user. Um, but when you're looking at an enterprise uh, environment, you know, working on the business standard or business premium, you're paying by the seat. So you're paying $30 per month per user. So another $10 a month. And obviously that's per user. Uh, the difference here as well is this works with all Microsoft 365 products. All right. So let's take a look now a little bit more about what that means. And here we're just really looking at the difference between Copilot Pro and Microsoft 365 Copilot. Uh, another thing that I wish um, and, and and maybe they do have this a little more consistent. It's just hard to tell. Uh, I, I wish that Microsoft had a little more consistency um, in the logo and in the design, right? So presumably now with Copilot Normal, they're using this tagline of your everyday AI companion. Uh, and then for Microsoft 365 Copilot, I believe they usually have 
the word Microsoft 365 or 365 Copilot in the logo. I'm not sure. I think for Pro, it just says Pro. Um, I would like to see them uh, emphasize that a little bit more. Uh, so everyone else who's not as familiar with, with Microsoft Copilot could easily tell what product is being talked about. All right, so let's just quickly look then at Copilot Pro. All right, so a couple of things to, uh, to look at here. So number one, there is no Teams support, all right? Also, depending on what country, um, you know, you are, or maybe language, uh, not all, not all um, programs are supported in uh, Copilot Pro. Specifically, Excel features are in English only and they're in preview, okay? So if you're working with Microsoft Copilot Pro, um, you don't have all features, or, or sorry, all um, Copilot in all of your uh, office programs in all languages, because if you're uh, English speaking language, uh, you only have access to Excel. So if you are from another part of the world um, and are not working with uh, the default, I guess, English uh, language, then you will not have access to Copilot Pro within Excel. The other thing, obviously, is Teams. There is no Teams integration as of now in Copilot Pro. So those are two uh, pretty, pretty specific things to, to talk about, as well as there's limited Outlook support. So uh, Copilot right now, you'll see it's highlighted there in the bottom, right? You always got to read the little terms of service there at the bottom. So Copilot features right now only for Outlook, only apply to accounts with Outlook.com, Hotmail.com, Live.com, or MSN.com email addresses. All right. So that's another important thing to point out with Copilot Pro. All right. That's all. I hope this was helpful. If so, let me know in the comments, subscribe to this channel, but also please go to your everydayai.com. Sign up for that free daily newsletter and we'll see you back for another AI in 5.